the Gearheads. Jeff with Gear Report. We're at the lake. A lot of people are getting into kayaking. It's how Gear Report got started in 2009. Uh, actually, I think it was 2008 we got started. We got the Gear Report domain in 2009. But uh, we started out reviewing kayaks. We haven't done it in a while because I've had shoulder problems. But uh, some of the other folks here haven't. So Gear Girl, for example, is sitting in our latest kayak acquisition and this was not a planned purchase this was very much a spur of the moment come uh, Black Friday last year a local sporting goods store had these for like a hundred bucks $99.99 something like that it's made by Sun Dolphin the model is the Aruba 8 SS this is a very lightweight injection molded uh, it looks like a high density polyethylene I, I'd actually have to look it up to see what it is that's the material that uh, milk jugs are made out of so a little thicker than a milk jug but not much. What we have here on, on the eight foot Aruba SS model, it's actually got a pretty nice little handle at the front. Uh, you can see the quality of the workmanship here is not fantastic. Like the hole they drilled for the rope for the handles all rough and, and uh, sharp edges. You know, that's gonna, we, we'll probably wanna clean that up so it doesn't cut our rope. You can see where it's fraying already. It's only been in the water a couple times. We got a little drain plug here. I had to pull it out to get some water out the first time it was used and uh, wasn't able to get it all the way back in. It's, it's hanging in, but that's about it. Uh, you can see uh, in uh, probably eight or 12 times it's been away from the dock. It's gotten a bunch of scrapes from the paddle hitting it because it's kind of wide. Speaking of the paddle, we have right here some indentations that they call it, I believe they actually call it a paddle holder. There's the sticker. All right, it's only gonna hold it if you're sitting still. Gear Girl, what do you think? Is this a stable kayak? When you get in it, do you feel like it's wobbly or do you feel like you're really solid in it? You have to be careful. You have to be... long moves to tip it open. <laughs> That's the truth. I found sitting in this, I'm 6'4", so uh, I can, I can, I can almost fit in this comfortably, but not quite. Uh, I can paddle it, uh, but it's not fantastic for me. I'd like something a little bit bigger. Uh, but you know it works uh, the seat back. What do you think of this padded seat back it's in here? It's comfortable. It is I think and we um, have an adjuster here Let's move your arm here where you can pull it to to give yourself a little bit more back support or loosen it Same thing on the other side. Is there a pad under your booty? No, there's not okay, so not a seat pad under you We, we have, have a it says beverage holder water bottle there it's best if you stay here there. in the back this is actually a nice little feature this is a little watertight box there's an o-ring right here i'm picking with my fingernail that honestly when when it's sealed up go ahead drop it in we have flipped this over and it has not taken water in as long as the string is not sticking out you have to be careful because it's not hard to get the string sticking out here when you put it in. Obviously, if you do that, you're gonna have a leak. In the back, this is also kind of something, I think this is really neat. You have a shock cord, an area, to, an indentation to put stuff. So you can put something up here. You have the other one. There we go. And then flip your shock cord over so it crisscrosses over them and hook it down, that was one-handed. And they're pretty securely attached. So at the back, we have another drain plug, another handle. That's pretty much it, folks. This is a very basic, very cheap kayak. Um, my thought is as long as we're careful with it, it's gonna work for us. How we use this is it's on the back of the mothership here. So this is where we spend our weekends. And if you see the back deck up above the back deck is a, a hard top a roof that's where we set this it is light enough so that's one of the great things about this Sun Dolphin Aruba 8 SS is it's light all right so I can slide it pick it up and put it right up on top of that back deck and it really doesn't hurt I got a bad back folks I can't pick up the big heavy ones like that the other kayaks you see are uh, heavy-duty ocean kayaks, sit-on-top models. 
uh, like this big yak back here. We got these from a canoe livery, a kayak livery. They do rentals on the Dan River in Virginia, and they ordered them with an extra thick bottom. So those suckers are heavy. I don't want to try to pick those up and put them on top of that back deck. They're too big, they're too heavy. However, this little Sun Dolphin Aruba 8 SS, it's light enough, it's not a big deal. So, are you headed out? Yeah. All right, Gear Girl, thank you, we appreciate it. And, uh, you know, I normally say we'll see you at the range because we're doing a lot of shooting stuff, but, you know, we're still getting out and doing the kayak water sports stuff as much as we can. We got a lot of camping content, hammock content coming up, so stay tuned for that. We'll see ya. Look at her go.